Well, that's the grease gun squash then. Can he do it? Oh, and he's straight in. Right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping safe and well. And don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, tap the little bell, and give this video one of these. Right, X days. I think I spelled that right. 20, 21. It's a bit of leftover seed. Just uh, bagged it up, wanted to make sure I'd labeled it right. Right, spread is off. Harrow's going on. Can you do it in one? Draw bar being straight, draw, I use that as a guide. As a guide yeah. yeah. Can he do it? Oh, and he's straight in. Not bad. Not bad. Stop cable's broken. Got to order a stop control cable. Stop cable, yes. Yeah, uh, I think that's the original word. I think it is original. It certainly looks it. Are you original? Uh, I'm absolutely original. 100% OG. 100% OG, yeah. All original equipment fitted. <laughs> Apart from the tooth. <laughs> Apart from the tooth, yeah. Don't mention the tooth. Dad lost a tooth. Good girl. You off with mummy to check the sheep? Yeah, yeah. You gonna get in then? Yeah, high five. Mm. See you hayley has got herself a flock of Easy Care ewe lambs, which I'm sure you'll see in another video. Right, just have to do a bit of harrowing with the TW. You can see our man Brian over there. He's edge trimming. This is about eight or nine acres. It was drilled with wheat about two days ago. I'm just going over it with the harrows before we roll. The reason we like to harrow before we roll is we find the rolls do a much better job if it's been harrowed first. It definitely leaves it nice for the rolls. It levels off the field as well. It just does a really good job. I'm using the TW20 with the big terror tires as conditions aren't they're not perfect, it's a little bit tacky on top and the big old terror tires do a fantastic job. They hardly leave a mark compared to, you know, if I came in here with a fast jack or the TM, I'd be leaving more of an impression on the ground. So yeah, the terror tires do an absolutely fantastic job. She's a nice tractor to be with and uh, with the nine meter arrows on the back, eight or nine acres, it's only going to take half an hour or so to get this done. I do get asked a lot in regards to the harrowing is does it disturb the tram lines that the drill has made? The answer is no, it doesn't. We've actually been doing it this way for a, uh, a few years now. We sort of have this system drill, harrow, roll, and we find it does a really, really good job if you harrow between drilling and rolling. And like I said, it's a nice, easy job and it doesn't take long, especially with a, uh, a big set like this. These are uh, nine meters, so it doesn't take long to get a few acres done. The reason I'm lifting up 
on my headlands on my turn is basically because if you turn too sharp through the harrows in the ground, the, uh, the sections of the harrows do tend to sort of overlap each other a little bit if you're not careful. So lift up, turn around, put them back down, and then any wheel marks that I leave on the ground, I'll catch when I go around my headlands at the end. Headland, you can perhaps see uh, my wheel marks and where I've been turning. Just going over those now. You do a nice smooth turn, the harrows don't overlap, but you can see what I mean. The sections there, if you turn too tightly, they can overlap on each other. Yeah, it is a little bit tacky on top. So it's not gonna to roll today, but what the harrows have done is because they've disturbed that little bit of soil on the top, that's gonna to encourage it to dry. So I should be able to get on in a day or two, get this rolled in. I've actually got some other areas on the farm waiting to be rolled, so it'll be good to get those done. These safety pins that go in here, are so easy. On the old set of harrows that we used to run, there was uh, no pin, no safety pins to hold the uh, the sections up. So you had to uh, climb up there and strap it with a ratchet strap just so it was safe to take it down the road. It was a nightmare. Right, got some spraying to do. So I'm just spraying a couple of wheat fields with what should have been a pre-emergent herbicide, but we've had some pretty dodgy weather over the last couple of weeks. We've had wind, we've had rain. It's been really, really difficult to get on. You know, finding good spray days has been really, really difficult. So what we've had to do is, for example, where I am now is do some of the ground post-emergence. We've got the crop poking through the ground now and the uh, chemical we would have been applying is uh, well isn't suitable for post-emergence spraying as it can damage the crop so we've had to change the chemical to a, a herbicide that is suitable for applying once the crop is through it's been really difficult really frustrating because uh, if it's not the wind it's the ground conditions and yeah it's really difficult finding good days to get uh, on with the spraying and it's all because of black grass that's why we're doing this uh, this herbicide in combination with the uh, Avidex, the microgranular herbicide that you saw us applying in my last video, these sort of two applications together make up the first stage of controlling blackgrass. So it's very important we uh, get them on, get it done. I mean, if it wasn't for blackgrass, this job would be so much easier.
So I thought I'd just get this little bit of grass here tied up while the uh, the sun was shining. It's this bit here, sits between the uh, the house and the field. Just want to uh, give this one more cut before the winter. And it doesn't take long with this, the John Deere 1600 wide area mower. 10 minutes and it's done. Absolutely love this mower. And there's one thing that we've recently discovered that we didn't know. We've had this mower a few years now, but there's uh, one thing we've just discovered it does that we never knew it did. So if you fold up the side decks, If you keep the middle deck down, you can engage it, put it into gear, and it will only cut the front deck, so you can get into, you know, narrower spaces. It's awesome. Have you got anything that needs greasing, Dad? What happened? Um, squashed it. You squashed it all right. Okay, well, I'll find out how much it costs and uh, deduct it then. <laughs>